Well, this week on Second Chance, we're meeting a furry old married couple. Look we have them. Gertie and Edgar. Oh. Wow. Uh, they're a bonded pair looking for a forever home to live out the rest of their golden years together. Oh my gosh, so cute. Joining us right now to introduce us to Gertie and Edgar is Sam Allingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Oh my gosh, yeah. Sam, you got right. just a little cuddle puddle over here. Look at that. I it, you know, when, whenever I do these segments, specifically when I have two dogs, I usually keep leashes on them. So I can, in case they start to wander, we can sort of reel them back in. Um, it's not going to be a risk this morning yeah. because <laughs> these two, from the moment I sat down, they decided to just, they're going to just pile on the lap uh, and that's where they're going to stay. And um, I think it's a great, uh, it, it, it's, it's a great visualization of what you're going to get when these two come home with you. You that's know, they, so they really cute. are a couple couple little potatoes who just want to sit next to you. Oh my gosh, you've got one, one hand for each. They each need pets right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They're keeping you busy. Okay, so so tell us about these guys. They're they're older, so they're they're an older bonded pair. Yes, so they are around 9 or 10. Um, they came in as strays and they came in together. Uh, and so they have re remained together while they've been here. They are a bonded pair, so they want to find a home uh, where they can where they can live the rest of their years out with each other. Um, like we said, they're older, so a few things come along with that. Um, they did come in with, uh, they were in need of a dental. And so both of them had some extractions. They had their teeth cleaned, which is just a part of our process for a lot of our animals who may have some sort of advanced uh, needs for dental care. Um, so they both had some extractions. Edgar specifically um, has this pretty amazing snaggle tooth where uh, one or the other of his canines will hang out over his uh, upper lip and he looks oh pretty hilarious while that's in process. <laughs> um, and so, so yeah, uh, when they get home, they, they really just want to find that quiet home where they'll be able to hang out and, uh, and, and, and live, you know, a pretty, pretty sleepy life. They're not going to do too much. They're both, they're both pretty darn old. Well, and that's what, just looking at them. They seem so calm, so mm -hmm. chill. I, I mean, it, yeah. I, I can't picture any animals or people they couldn't get along with. But you, what, what, who, what kind of family could they go into? Yeah, they're going to be able to go to most families. Um, we don't have any reason to believe that they wouldn't do well with kids or cats or other dogs. They're going to be fine with most of those, we think. We just want to make sure that, like, any time that they're going to go into, and any animal is going to go into a new family, we want to make sure they meet everybody so everybody can get along well. So if there are other dogs in the house, it would do great if they were pretty relaxed dog, right? Not a dog who's going to constantly try to play with them because these two aren't going to do a whole lot of playing. Um, and same with kids, right? Uh, even younger kids, as long as they can be respectful and understand that, you know, we can't pull on tails and pull on ears and climb on these guys, um, they're going to get along just fine. And you know, in some ways, they could be great dogs for younger kids, too, who are respectful because they really just want to lay there and just get some love. And as yeah. the parent of a toddler, I know that's all my toddler wants to do with our dog is just sit there and pet the dog. And these <laughs> two would just eat it up. They'd eat it up all day long. Oh, very true. Yeah, they are just little couch potatoes and, and a good little size mm -hmm. for little kids if they can, you know, keep it calm and, and, and quiet. Oh. I mean, every yeah. time that uh, every time you stop petting, Gertie seems to lean back and is like, right. She's Sam, up at Uncle like, Sam. Yeah. Excuse me. No, no, no. She does. She does. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> and the photo that I sent of you, too, she's got those eyes where she's oh, like, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, she got, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, these just like big, sad eyes when you stop petting her. <laughs> oh. They're both Excuse so. Me. Yeah, look like those. Yeah. Look at that. Look there, at that. There it is. Oh, my yeah. God. That almost looks Looks oh, photoshopped. It's I know. crazy. Just, they're just it, too cute little real, muppets. Right? Okay, well, we're going to find these guys at home together. Thanks so much for introducing us to Gertie and Edgar Sam. We hope that they find a nice, quiet, comfy home soon. Thank you both so much. We appreciate it. Oh my gosh. And if you want to see more from Gertie and Edgar, you can check them out or find other pets up for adoption at hssw.org, the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Heart is so melted. Cute, I know. The, heart, the, the inside. So His cute. heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> All right.